boy. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the wrap-up. Welcome, everybody out there in the Facebook land or the podcast afterwards. This is your hangover from your Monday night wrestling evening. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. With me, we have the crew, first of all, from Beacon, New York. He is the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Sorg, I said we didn't. Want, we shouldn't do any more podcasts about Impact. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, about that. Uh, also with us here in the studio is Larry. This is the first Impact Wrestling show I've ever seen. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, so let's get the started with the... Opening thoughts, Sorg. Opening everyone, thoughts, positivity. Everyone over 40 must be fired from WWE. No, no, that's not what no, we do. No, no, everyone over 40 must never appear on WWE television. That again. is even At this point, there are... No, no, it's not. AJ Styles? Yes, fuck him. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Baby fuck with him. the bat wa- bath water. Oh, fuck man. Him. All right. Okay. Honestly, He's throwing honestly, everybody AJ in the... Styles, in the in his WWE title run over the past year, has not had an entertaining pay-per-view match the entire past year. Oh, but so, no. Yeah. What? An entertaining pay-per-view match? Bullshit. Bullshit. I can't name one, name one but the, he's had good the matches. The three nut shots with Nakamura? Uh, the three nut shots of Nakamura. You're selling the, Larry the on mat- this. The sleeper match, literally sleeper match with Daniel Bryan because everyone fell asleep during their matches. Yeah, well, I guess uh, Finn Balor WWE was before. has made me hate AJ Styles. No, that should be that should be impossible He's to do. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, none of this is Jeez. fine. What about Why him are and we Joe? Fucking Rody Vanilli. <sighs> no, no, his matches of Joe. I sucked because you knew Joe was never winning. We can't even start with the positivity on this one. No, no it because was not there's that, nothing positive. It was not that bad of a run. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Be- Becky Lynch I, got I, an Austin angle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Your entire first half first half hour of Raw was fucking moronic. Is fucking moronic. Why do you have to clear someone for a match that's two months away? Meanwhile, Finn Balor is walking out with hurt ribs and he's totally fine. Bailey and Sasha get literally blindsided before their tag team match and they don't have to go to a doctor to get cleared. No, they're just doing this because they're trying to wait, trying to figure out a way to shoehorn fucking Charlotte into the main event that doesn't need it, and that's going to happen on Ric Flair's show. And I, if Becky Lynch doesn't show up with a truck full of quinoa and spraying everyone on the stage when we celebrate Ric Flair's 70th birthday, I'm going to lose my damn mind. What the fuck? How did we get to this? How did we get to that? Because WWE is overbooking everything. Becky versus Ronda is the main event. Yes. Just let that... No, it's not. It's not going to be. They're going to throw Charlotte in there. That's why they're doing this whole stupid I agree. bullshit thing. Wait, why wouldn't Charlotte try, try to go after Asuka? Because Charlotte needs to be in the spotlight. They're not going to have a first ever women's main event out of WrestleMania without the name fucking Flair in it. Technically, they eliminated Flair from her name, didn't they? Oh, they, 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 it depends on who you ask. Yeah, oh. it depends on what week it is, and okay. if we we're, we're, it depends on depends on what Rick Rick has done lately. Yeah, it <laughs> depends on the promo graphic. It depends on who's doing what. Yeah, I mean, apparently Zack Ryder doesn't even get spelled right every week. Exactly. So, yeah. So um, now that Mike's got that out of his system, <sighs> let's move on to the next. Hold on, thing. Hold on. All right. I do have one positive thing. I have a new EC3 impression. You ready? Yes. Okay. He's he's yeah. Is he froze? Do you freeze? No. <laughs> oh, he's blinking. He's blinking. Okay. No, he's mute. He's mute C3. <laughs> Why won't you let one of the best talkers on your show fucking talk? 
It's um, it was entertaining though. That was a, the no, it was favorite Dean. They, they no, I it was nothing. Here, 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 wait, 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 hold on a second. If, it, I, if you can't tell me I was not entertained by something, Mike. Nothing. I I enjoyed. I, I could have done with on that segment. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, but that doesn't mean there weren't good points in it. Like I, Sorg, Sorg, Sorg. Next time, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a filet mignon. All right. I'm gonna make you a nice sandwich. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to vomit in it. Wait, you're going to put it Are on a you, sandwich? I'm going to vomit on the sandwich. Okay. Are you going to tell me that because there's still some good things in it, that it's overall going to be a good sandwich? I don't know what we're talking about anymore. So, so you can't shit in my cornflakes and tell me it's healthy. Well, if there's right? corn in the... Never mind. Well, I mean, corn's good for you, right? <laughs> I mean, unless you're Bud Light, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> topical topical all right this is not <sighs> supposed to be entirely about how much mike hates um, um well you say it's therapy i'm allowed to express my anger that is true jeez it it's was healthy to it's healthy to express anger sork so how about that jeff jarrett match no i refuse to talk about it <laughs> I simply refuse to talk about it. No, if if they want to do something really creative with Jeff Jarrett, book him in a good housekeeping match versus Nia Jax at WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> While we are recounting his entire career, it seems. Might um, as fucking well. Yeah. I, okay. All right. Well, I I can can I can I can I talk? Yeah, absolutely. Can I tell sure. you? Can I tell you that Leo Rush versus uh, Finn Balor was a delight? That was fine. I just really hope it's not foreshadowing ec um finn balor going to 205 uh no i mean we, we're, we're, i've heard that you've heard that i've read that on the internet somewhere you've read I that on the, right because that's I'm, what I'm, you never know dave, dave Meltzer told him <laughs> so right, jim is wrestling on raw in 2019 anything is fucking possible my favorite uh, part <laughs> my favorite part was wwe wrestlers um retweeting stories about their contracts they didn't know anything about <laughs> did you catch that? My yeah, my did. favorite part was Jeff Jarrett wrestling in a match in 2019, the same night as Kurt Angle retiring. It's TNA. <laughs> it's TNA. And EC3 was again. there, and and EC3 was there, and um, uh, I think Dixie Carter was uh, in the crowd. Dixie Carter, I'm sure, was in the crowd, right? Well, yeah, she was there as your nephew. Um, Bobby Lashley was all over the place. You know, it's mm-hmm. it is. It is, it, you, Talking about how he's mu- so much better than uh, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, he's just—he's <laughs> in, literally in begging rest, for a in, Brock Lesnar match, and it's not going to happen. Just slipping that in there, maybe maybe he'll get the fans behind him. Unfortunately, <laughs> no, 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 silly uh, sword. <laughs> uh, the fans were behind Bobby Lashley against Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think they're going to be behind him now? Yeah. Uh, let's see. We just need Jordan Peele. Then you've got WWE Twilight Zone, Sistina. Honestly, she's not far off. Mm. All right. Um, we, I thought it was weird. We had heavy machinery um, in two qualifiers for the title for the tag titles uh, in the last week. Um, Who they ever beat? Apparently, nobody yet. Well, they did. They pinned yeah. somebody. They pinned somebody. No, in they that beat match the Ascension. They, they beat, beat the ascension. ascension. They did beat the ascension, so that's something. Um, the, the and, oh yeah, and, and Brand has a good point in the chat room. Seth is injured, but um, you know Seth doesn't have to get cleared by doctors. That's because he's not in the main right event. Away. It's the st- he's he's the fucking this, rumble winner. You craft the storyline around what you want here. And yeah, that, and, and they now, don't want no. the thing that everyone knows. So now what I'm we're doing? The authority. Now, I am not. I'm not bought, sold on Charlotte being involved in this match here. Sorry, you want to make a bet? I don't know. I don't want to make a, a bet. A tie bot bet? I Break out the I'm bot. I'm pretty sure I still owe you this tie bot. Okay. I know. All right. So, double or nothing. I'm not. Just like no. a t shirt company. Double or nothing. <laughs> Just like that t shirt company. Just like that t shirt company. Double oh. or nothing. Sorry, this is not a smart bet. This is not a smart bet. Don't take that bet. Don't take the bet. I don't, I don't believe it's going to happen. No, legit. I do not believe it's going to happen. Double tie bot bet. I think I think we're gonna get no, Jeff Jarrett. I think we're gonna get Jeff Jarrett versus Ric Flair next week. That's what we're gonna get. So, God. Um. 
Oh, no, Tina, Tina, you should get you should get tickets for tomorrow night. SmackDown's actually good. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. SmackDown, SmackDown is actually while. okay. Yeah, it's just Raw that is the dumpster fire. I did. Larry, what did you think of Raw tonight? Uh, man, I don't know. <laughs> Sorg, Sorg was looking yeah. for that shimmer of that shimmer of light. All right, I, I the Leo the, the Leo match Rush match was good. Yes, um, the matches on Raw were fine. Yeah. The, no, I wouldn't go that far. The Leo Rush match was good. Okay, that's about it. You, you weren't. No, well, you I know mean, what? Yeah. I, I'll say the heavy machinery. I, I enjoy watching Heavy Machinery. The tag match was fun. Um, so, I don't know about the whole match, but they're fun. Little things like I, I, I like uh, you know Ryder and Hawkins. I want to see what they're going to do with that. I didn't know that they misspelled his name last week. Sorg, Sorg. All right, you want you want me you want me a fantasy book? What happens with Ryder and Hawkins? Sure. You want me a fantasy book? It. Mo, Mojo Riley. This is my this is my guess. This is my guess. They're the last two men in the Andre Battle Royal. And Ryder eliminates himself. Hmm. That's my guess. Because hmm. you know what it's not going to be? Them winning the tag titles at WrestleMania. It's definitely not going to be that. Hmm. You never know. We got we got two pay-per-views. And, and Sorg, who are the Raw Tag Team Champions? How many days? Who are the Raw? Oh, it was <laughs> it was Rude and, and uh, the other guy. Um, Gable. Yeah. They have not been on in like weeks. Um. Okay. Uh. So now that we've completely busted the the format of the show, um. <laughs> I, I, I halftime heat was great. Sword halftime, halftime heat was amazing. That's your good of this heat week. Was the best Super Bowl and commercial. Even better than the halftime year. heat itself was uh one. I I we'll, 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 okay. We'll get to that in a second because I I had you blow up already too much on this show, but um the there was a uh, promos that were tweeted. From before and after of um, the Alistair Black Dream and Ricochet team, uh, I think I shared both of those on the Mayhem Show Twitter. I encourage you to listen to those. Um, I saw the after. I didn't see the before. One. The before. Is the after good. one. The after one was great. The before. No, the before is good. Where Alistair didn't really have much to say. Um, yeah. But uh, and then and then I saw a picture. Hey, did you know there's an AEW signed superstar that was at the Performance Center? Baker. Yep. <laughs> yeah. See, if I was a dirt sheet, I'd make a story out of that. But anyways, well, it, it's funny. Like even on the commentary, um, Todd Phillips said, "Oh, it's a good thing Adam Cole knows a dentist." <laughs> Everybody I, I knows. That was really cute. Everybody that was really knows. Cute. That was nice that's good. Out. That's and good. And by the way, all right, the one forty-year-old that's allowed to be on TV. Uh huh. Put Shawn Michaels on commentary. He was fine. Yeah. Oh, no, he was great. He was fine. He was absolutely fine. I'd like to see Shawn Michaels on commentary I, more. I can't imagine. Like, like I, instead of trotting out King and JBL, yeah, ever again, let's put Shawn Michaels on commentary. So I so Michaels did one match. So yeah. I, I don't know if that means he's ready to do, or maybe he's working his way into it uh, from doing like a you know full Raw, full SmackDown pay per views, things like that. Or or he but, could be on there for a special match on every Takeover. That could be. I'm cool. okay with that because he's working with all the guys in NXT, you, so he knows them implicitly. You could drop them in, like how Jr. would pop in for like a uh, you know an Undertaker match. You can drop Shawn Michaels in now. They didn't have Morrow for that. For no, it was uh, Vic. It was Vic, and it, it was, was Vic and Shawn. That's and Shawn, it. That was it. Huh. So cra crazy that like Vic, the the guy I worked with, uh, but like Prime Wrestling is now doing commentary with Shawn freaking Michaels. Yeah. At the Performance Center. Also, that show was in the Performance Center. Like yep. not full sale. full sale. It was in they they Was there a crowd? There was a crowd there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um I but, um I don't know how much of that was a real crowd. Hmm? You think they were rosebuds? I no, I think <laughs> I think it was like I think it was like NXT friends and family. It uh, might have been. It very well might because have been. Because Adam Cole was booed. <laughs> and uh, some of those crowd members, like one guy looked like like like, like those crowd members were in shape. You know. Uh, well, Sorg, they had the show in a gym. That is true. That is true. <laughs> hey, stop working out and come it's watch a, this it's show. It's a judgment-free zone. Sorg. It's a judgment-free zone. They did it in a Planet Fitness? 
What would your What would your plan? WWE. Listen, tell me. Fitness. What would your Planet Fitness based indie promotion be called? <laughs> Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Mine would just be called Lunk. <laughs> I don't know what the acronym would stand for, but it'd be called Lunk. What is this? I, 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 this? This isn't the first time I've seen this, and I don't know if it was both from Brandon, but Tony Romo should be on commentary. Yes, he should. Tony Romo should be on commentary. Sell me on Tony Romo. I'm not. I'm not. I did the not football, watch the football Sword guy. Tony Romo. I, I didn't watch the sports ball exhibition. This Sword, weekend. Tony Romo is the nicest human being you'd ever want to meet. Really? Yeah. He okay. Was, he, he was a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. Well, we won't hold oh. that against him here. Hey, sorry, you know. Hey, you know what? We can have. You our... want me to be positive? I can be positive about mm-hmm, Tony Romo. Mm-hmm. And I'll shit on so, your dreams right. too. All right, Tony Romo, after a Cowboys football game, was driving back home, saw a couple stranded in the rain on the side of the road because they had a flat tire. He got out and changed their fucking tire. What does this have to do with anything? He's a nice guy. Damn it. Okay. We need more people like Tony Romo on commentary. Just for everything. Who would he replace? Honestly, at this point, Corey. Oh. No, Corey's... Are you anti-Corey? I am. On Raw, yeah. He's getting annoying. Corey and Renee need to be on separate shows. They need to be... I think think Corey is overworked. I yeah. think I think he's doing too much. I'm sure there he was, is. There was a point that I pointed out that... What are you talking about? He works like two nights a week. Mm, uh, nope. There's a nope. point where um, I pointed out to Larry where um, he threw some shade at Renee. He was like, "What are you? What are you? Ta- I don't know what what the lead in was, but I was like, "What are you talking about, Renee? You only work one day a week." Yeah, they're <laughs> hipster Cole and JBL. They're too good of friends. They have too many inside jokes. They need to not be on commentary on the same show. Listen, it's fine listen, on pay-per-views. Doing three hours of a sh- of a program every week will ruin anybody. Sorg, watching three hours of a show every week will ruin someone. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah, yeah. You just see, remember when I was trying to do a positivity like kind of thing on this show? And there it goes. Sorg, this isn't the new day. Uh, let's see. This is we DNA. Can, uh, you can thank the Seahawks for putting out Tony Romo. From, oh, from Tina. Tony Romo out the pasture. Tina. Oh. All right, you know what, Tina? I'm glad the Sonics are gone. Oh. I'm, gl- I'm glad they're gone. Oh, man. I'm glad they're gone, Tina. Go Thunder. <laughs> Go Thunder. Go Thunder, go Pelicans, whatever. What? That I don't know. They, this, this, this is, we were just talking about this. Weren't we just talking about how Corey and Renee shouldn't be on the same show? They should not. We don't know what you're talking about, Mike. No, we don't know what you're talking about. Pelicans and Thunder. Too many Northwest what, what what jokes. What are you referencing? Too much. Too many sports ball and basketball. Let's get back to, I was going to say, let's what get back to Rob. I really don't want to talk about What the fuck is a Pelican? It's a bird, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> Pelican is a bird. Oh, I made Tina drop an F bomb. Yay. What, is, what did she do? Oh, I'm, I'm behind on the chat. <laughs> yeah, my chat's not catching up either. I think that was she, just a personal message. She, she <laughs> just, no, no, she just said, fuck you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drove her to the prank. It's Mad Mike and Monday Night Raw does it to all of us. Um, this is a family friendly show. <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but we did so, have we, there was a lot. We of, did have an unintelligible Ronda Rousey promo through booze. Oh my god! Oh. You'll be I'm finding it. Go, go, wait, Larry was having a blast with this. You, you, wanna, do, you, this, go, you do you, Larry. This is Ronda Rousey. Oh, hold on, I, uh, cutting a promo. Ah, ah, take all I don't like, Okay, hold on. Then, I don't have the volume up. Don't just killing the moment. All right, ready. This is Ronda Rousey. <laughs> <laughs> someone do something someone do something someone do something it's like that's a cat wearing a bow tie <laughs> <laughs> i shit you not uh, yep like uh, better uh, better than ronda rousey why that's her new why manager did we, right cat wearing a bow tie actually you know what the one thing i legitimately enjoyed on, on tonight's raw do you want to know what it is sorg hmm the Dana Brooks segment. No, oh. <laughs> that was good. Really, that's the thing. That was I mean, it was, it was funny, that but was classic comedy. Somebody here that was, was that you, Larry? That 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 called that that she's gonna have. Uh, no, no. Uh-uh. Maybe, maybe it was uh, Katie. Or something. I was actually really I... annoyed by the whole segment until she did that. Until she like took out those earbuds. Buds. I thought it was kind of stupid. 
I thought it was great. And Natty needs to wear her hair down more. I practically didn't recognize her. Same here. Well, it's because she also didn't have a leather jacket with a bunch of spikes. Yes. <laughs> That's true. And cat so ears. She, she wasn't cosplaying, <sighs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't cosplay. Uh, let's see. Alex says the only thing he enjoyed was watching the guy wearing the Mighty Ducks jersey. Uh, Seattle's going to be coming for that cup shortly in a few years. But wh- oh, wh- wh- yeah. Why is it Rhonda can't cut a promo without trying to do the whole thing in one breath like she's in, in because 8 Because Rhonda is completely shook now, and she's trying to memorize her lines, and she can only say it at once like a child giving a recital. Oh, okay. It's like a yeah. third grader trying to remember all the words to the Pledge of Allegiance all in one breath. We've all in there, like some of us doing the intro to a podcast. Yeah, but Sorg, your your intro to your podcast isn't written down. Uh, <laughs> some of it is. Some of it is. Depends if the producer's here or not. The more That's words fair. on the paper, the worse I do. Um, I haven't had paper for a while. Whatever happened to that? Technology, Sorg. You print have, is, you have a print is dead, Sorg. I don't know. She'll <laughs> print, print is dead. You just have a... <laughs> She's she's trying to be a heel and it fell flat. I think she's I don't even, no, I don't even think she tried to be a heel. I don't think she's trying to be anything. She's trying to be more badass. Is, is no, the she's thing. trying to get people to like her. Yeah. And I'm sorry, that ship has sailed. <laughs> and and what I do agree with now there was um a good discussion, I think, on Edge of Christian about how like she's just kind of doing her thing and there's the people like in the arena of Royal Rumble like are against her, but there's going to be enough people watching her that are into her too. I don't think so. Not if she keeps going up against women that are actually popular. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I mean, think about it. The first couple months of her career, Alexa bliss. Everyone hates Alexa. mm -hmm. Nia Jax. Mm -hmm. Everyone hates Nia and the riot squad. Mm-hmm. Riot Squad are actual heels. Yeah. As soon as she stepped to Charlotte, to Becky, to Sasha, to Bailey, even Natty, mm-hmm. even Natty, she got a little boot against Natty. Like the second they put her in against the face, she doesn't know how to handle it because the people they're putting her up against are way more experienced. Mm-hmm. It's like that old Paul Heyman quote. Her arms are too short to box with gods. In the wrestling world. In the wrestling world, yeah. Wrestling like, world. like, well, Charlotte, the- Becky, Sasha, Natty, um, uh, missing one, Bailey. They've all had so much experience mm-hmm. dealing with both positive and negative crowd reactions, and adjusting on the fly if only there was some kind of center where Rhonda could per- improve her performance that she could go to i wonder if there was somewhere like that tna i don't know maybe in one of those southern states where she'd be more at ease and could go to disney world whenever she wanted to exactly. um she's she's also doing promos every week too yeah, yeah. which isn't helping her case she did a lot of it nope. tonight too She's doing a lot she of talking. She got into talking. Becky's face. She yeah. she got into everybody else's face after, like in her match. Did you know she had to do her first promo backstage to so they could drown out the booze? Um, I saw it also so they could pre-tape it. And also, um, pre-taping didn't help. Mm. And also, she, I hope that wasn't pre-taped. Oh God, I hope that no, wasn't it, pre-taped. It was, I guarantee that was pre-taped. It probably was. Well, she 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 was there all pissed off, and then she came out smiling like nothing nothing ever happened. That makes sense. Like, well, like the kids hey, Larry, weren't watching Larry. mom and dad fight. No, so, Larry, so, she doesn't give a damn about her reputation. <laughs> no, Mike. Shame on you. Do it the right way. Oh, you damn her reputation. Thank you. Um, <laughs> no, I mean she's. I mean, I I would. I don't want to give Ronda Rousey much shit for. I mean, she is inexperienced amongst everybody, right? She needs to be kind of a little handheld and stuff, and I think you know, great with Sasha and everything. Okay, well, don't have the person holding her hand be on alcohol, like on drugs and alcohol. What? Like yep. whoever's telling her to do this shit's just wrong. <laughs> yep. And if she needs to be handheld that much, mm-hmm. maybe don't make her the central focus point of your show. But you have to because she's Ronda Rousey. You you don't have to. You don't make you don't make Brock Lesnar go for the Intercontinental title. Kurt Angle was an Olympic gold medalist and wrestled his first match against Sean Stasiak. Ah, uh, that's different though. That's not. No, a, it's not. The Olymp- no, it's not. He was, a, he was an Olympic gold medalist. 
several years after his gold medal. And that is not as much of that is still on no level in Sorry, 1996. In 1996, 8, 9, when that happened, nowhere near the popularity of what Ronda Rousey did in UFC. But all right. it's true. I didn't hear about Sean, uh, Kurt Angle until he stepped foot into a WWE. No, ring. and I mean, we're Pit, well, not you, but Pittsburgh adjacent. Yeah, right. I didn't. I didn't know who this guy was until he started popping up in pro wrestling. Yeah, and I live an hour from Pittsburgh at the time. Or well, well, when did he debut? Was it ninety nine or two thousand? Two thousand. Was it two thousand, Mike? Uh, ninety nine. Ninety nine. So 99. yeah, I would have been. Not here yet, but uh, but no, it, it, it's you know, yeah. Rousey needs a mouthpiece. I'm with you. He, Rousey needs, yeah. <laughs> you know, I give Ronda Leo Rush. You know what? Give me Leo Rush and Ronda Rousey. Let, let's do that. My or, woman, or, or my woman, Ronda Rousey is going to kick your ass. Up, if we're pairing her up with someone from 205, Drew Gulak would have been. Perfect. How offensive. Just turn her heel. That'd, that'd be good, too. How, how turn offensive. Turn her heel and put her with Shayna Baszler. What if Leo no, Rush... She, can't, she, can't, she can't be heel because Why? she doesn't like being booed. Mm. The second she was booed, it she forgot her entire Well, program. she wasn't supposed to be booed, though. It doesn't matter. I think if, she, if she's supposed to be booed, she'll be able to handle it a lot better. I don't think she'll ever want to be booed, though. Because she was booed in her last two fights in UFC when she lost. Like, I, I think some of this is still legitimately real for her. Mm-hmm. She's, um, Ronda Rousey, no matter what, is when she comes out and has a smile, she's still too big of a fan of the thing. She's, she looks like, like, she looks like she ordered a make a wish. Mm-hmm. Like, like she's doing the, like she's doing the NXT experience in the performance center where she's at access. Uh huh. Like, it, it, you've been in the company for over a year now. Mm hmm. The shine has to wear off by now. No, act like you've fucking been here. Yeah. Like, you, you can't be a mark for yourself, and that's what she is. Alex points out that uh, she got booed out of UFC and cried about it. And she has yeah, exactly. Issues. And I mean, she has, her, her, her issues have been documented as well. So, all right. Hi, um, Becky Lynch. <laughs> generally by Becky Lynch was reminding of it yes but because you have to right at this point um, especially in her position uh, generally I uh, did not hate this Raw as much as Mike did um, that's that's most Raw <laughs> so, so. what, what did you like about it Try, like, um, I like I seriously despite the weirdness with Ronda Rousey I like what's going on with Becky and, and this uh, deal that they're doing with Stephanie um, I like will you Will you like it less if, Char- if Charlotte's included? Yes, I will like it less if Charlotte's included. Okay, okay. I, I wanted um, to make sure we're on the same page. With yeah, you. no, no. I, I think it's a bad idea, okay. and right. I, and I don't think you need anything else. Oh, I this. completely agree. I and completely I agree. Think Char- I think Charlotte ask Asuka too is your match from SmackDown. Yeah, like oh, I beat you I last year. So. This there, time, there, I'm, this there, time I want to take the belt from you. There is nobody to replace Charlotte on SmackDown. No, against Oscar. No, if you put, uh, I, no, unless somebody uh, maybe Carmella. Carmella might be or, the only. No, person. no, you can, no, you do Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross is on Raw. Mm-hmm. Nikki Cross and Oscar, yes. Nikki uh, Cross is on no, Raw. No, no, no. Nikki that Cross is, is on Raw. That is Mad Mike's Mayhem Mania. That is not what is going to be important enough for WrestleMania, unless you want that SmackDown title in the pre-show, Mike. Which it very well could be. They're not. Gonna, they're not going to put Nikki Cross in a title match at WrestleMania three months before she debuts. Nope, she's going to be in debuts. the. She's going to be on the um, <laughs> Battle Royal, Women's Battle Royal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <they're sure. laughs> I hope we find a woman for that by then. <laughs> can we be on the? Can can we can, it can be we the, call it the Sherry Martell Battle Royal? Oh, Th- that would be good. I was going That'd for the good. Velvet McIntyre Battle Royal. No one knows who that is. Sorg. Oh, now we're going to learn about it. I'm well, just no, picturing Drew McIntyre and Velvet Dream Close. If if Drew McIntyre and Velvet the Velveteen Dream had, had somehow had a a lady child that's about 
30 years older than them. Uh, <laughs> that would be... Dream. Wait, what were you? <laughs> Velveteen Dream. Velveteen <laughs> Dream, there you go. Um, well, let me tell you something, baby. <laughs> So is Velvet McIntyre in Dusty Rhodes' child, yes. Velveteen Dream? Yes, time displaced child. All right, all right. Time displaced child. Speaking of which, where was Jason Jordan? He had a, per <laughs> he had a perfect segue into that. I thought that's where we were going with it. and then I Honestly, yeah, that's, that's honestly. I thought they were going to see that. You know why this Ross so good to me? Because Jason Jordan didn't show up at the end of that speech. Really? Yes. That's why this really? is so good. Because I saw I saw an alternate history where <laughs> listen, I looked into the time zone and I know Look, that hold I, on, hold and, on, I, hold I, and this is the only way where we win tonight. Sork, do they think Apollo Cruz is Jason Jordan? I might be. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe he's just this gonna is, be adopted. This is, a, this is a legitimate question I have right now. Yeah. They were really interested in Apollo Cruz's opinion about Kurt Angle like all night long. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't, and I don't know what connection that is, but um, I, but I've also there, there is none. But Apollo Cruz has generally, if if you've been watching Edge and Christian show, been popping up in strange time displaced locations. So <laughs> yeah, because he just wants to be on the show. Yeah, <laughs> you were like you were like five mm -hmm. when this happened. I just want to be in the skit, uh, man. <laughs> honestly, Edge and Christian is so good. It's it so funny. It is. Like, can we just have their writing team write Raw? Please. Please. Just write Raw. Leave, leave SmackDown to, to the D.O. double Milli Vanilli. Well, one of the writers just, is apparently from, uh, um, oh, what's the show that he does? Uh, Vikings? Yeah. I guess. Or no, no, not Vikings. It was from um, the other show he did on Sci-Fi. Haven. 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 I think it was from Haven, actually. Okay. Uh, and they had, they had. Uh, That's, that makes a little more sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, like oh, Haven oh, was, yeah. And so, so there, there's there's one other thing I have to say about Raw. Just one. Just one. Just um. So, do you remember the story of Jeff Jarrett and and the roadie? <laughs> yes, and I was reminded of it as you wrote it in all caps on Twitter tonight. Uh huh. Um, all right. Please don't say it to us I, in all caps. I don't caps. have Twitter. No, no, I'm not, I'm not going to. Um, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, Larry. Do you know the story about Jeff Jardy? Jeff Jardy. Jeff Jardy. Jeff Jardy. Jeff Jardy. Jeff Jardy and the and the Roddy. My only exposure to Jeff Jarrett per, before like all this Hall of Fame shit, thankfully, <laughs> was the GIF on Instagram of him breaking a guitar over Beetlejuice's head. Okay. All right. Okay. There. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice from Howard Stern show. Yes. Not Beetlejuice. Michael yes. Keaton. Just you just said it that. three times, Sorg. Where is he? He died. What? Oh. He's dead. Beetle. Oh, no, not that, that one. Is he? Oh, no, no, not that one. No, Beetlejuice from the wow. Howard Stern show died. Yeah. So I'm he's very not, confused. He doesn't, he doesn't come back how many. Oh. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that was. Sorry. Anyway, okay, let's write this <laughs> that, up a little went, bit. That went, uh, Matt that Mike, went uh, inform, inform the backstory that anybody. Um, okay. That, um, anybody. With, with the WWE Network, you can re-experience all of this. Yes, yeah, so whether you want to or not. Thank God. Yeah. Um. So basically, Jeff Jarrett. Uh, he came out and he said he was the greatest singer, the greatest entertainer, see and that, the greatest wrestler. See that picture with the hat over there, Larry? Yeah. Um, I don't know, uh, you want to hold he that up? Because we do have an autograph. No, I was going to have you put one in a shot so people can see that we do have an autograph picture of Jeff Jarrett Why here in the studio. About he, this? He, had, he had glowing J's on his jacket, mm -hmm. and he kept teasing that he was going to have a big hit single mm -hmm. for months. Months. For months and months and months. And finally... Finally, he came out with a music video to Mike's relief called with, called with my baby tonight. And Mike listened to it all the time. I actually did. I knew the first verse from most of my adult lifetime. No one knows the second verse. It's like every Christmas song, you know, anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, it turns out Jeff Jarrett's roadie, AKA the road dog. Um, I believe later to was, be known as the road dog. Yes, later to be known as the road dog. Later to be known as BG James in the Voodoo Kin Mafia. Because <laughs> I'm going full TNA with this if I have to. Um, it was revealed that there was a Milli Vanilli situation going on. Oh no! Definitely many years after Milli Vanilli was controversial, but still, we went with it anyway. And it was revealed that it was the roadie 
who was actually singing with my baby tonight. And that was the entire reason that the roadie started feuding with Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett never sang the song. That was the entire point. So why is he singing it now? Why are they friends? This was literally the entire reason for them not to be friends. I'm going to go with Alzheimer's. To be, to be fair, Road Dog is going through um, Alcoholics Anonymous, and you have to forgive everybody. So, I think... Sorg, Sorg, you just made him non-anonymous. Well, have you seen his Twitter? No. no. I don't follow people who don't spark joy. I call that Twittering like Marie Kondo. Wait, wait, wait. Are you decluttering your Twitter like that Like that Japanese girl on Netflix has you do? Yes, Marie Kondo. Yes. Yeah? You're, you're yeah. Marie Kondoing your, yeah. your Twitter? You don't have to by do the way, that, Mike. You, you get blocked you, by all the negative it, So people. you you go through and you touch every Twitter follower and say, uh-huh. "Do you bring me joy?" Yep. The only person I follow that does that does not spark joy, but I have to follow him because if there's a nuclear war, he's gonna tweet about it, and that is WWE Hall of Famer Donald. Trump. <laughs> and the fool, and the fool. But um, yeah. funny back note. To the Road Dog's musical career mm-hmm. in WWE, mm-hmm. one of his other musical musical partners, I realized I am blocked by. Our truth. Ron Killings, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also Elijah Elijah Burke. I don't know why. Not related in the musical sense, just not also li- somebody related, that follows you. But, no, but but Elijah Burke and Our Truth, I believe, teamed in TNA. Um. Oh no no. no. Uh, Road Dog. Road Dog and the Pope. Too. Road Dog. Road Dog and the Probably. Pope. No. Road Dog. No. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. I'm just making it up. It makes sense in my head. No. Road Dog and R Truth did team yeah, up. I, that was one connection. Okay. And that's Conan. I thought, I thought one. Conan, of the, I thought one of them teamed up with the Pope. It was Conan that was with them as three live crew, and then they were get rowdy in that's the right. WWE. Okay. Tina, Tina said, okay. I got then, confused. Tina said Road Dog looks like a shitty Fred Durst tonight. Oh, I Road thought Dog has looked look like a shitty Fred Durst since 1998. Basically. Um, I, I thought she said shifty <laughs> nope. when I looked down at that. Nope. Also eh, accurate. Same. Yes. Yeah, same. That's great. Guys, I have no outro for this. This is raw. We talked about it for like 40 minutes. Uh, but we talk about halfway. Half Spend time my heat. day working hard for the dough. I hope this now, helps Now sing that you. song as Poppy. Spend my day working hard. For the dough. Ooh. But the hand on the clock keeps spinning and spinning and spinning too slow. But I can't wait to be alone with I'm Poppy tonight. That's that's great. I think I don't I don't think I can do anything else I with was that. Say, did you just end the show there? Because that would surprise me. Guy, yeah, I should have done a, just a cold exit on that one. <laughs> just like cold out. I don't just cold like out, cold guys. Out. I don't know. Um, oh no, we wait, we're going out. I did the wrong thing again. I did the wrong thing again. Okay, we're back. We're back. I did it again. This is like the third week in a row that I did that. Um, <laughs> we will okay. be back. Ross Ross used to doing the same thing over. Marcus and over again. Man, Marcus Man will be on the main show. Here on uh, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Also, Marcus Mann, Honey Badger, and I think Jinx, I don't know what the lineup's going to be just yet, will be joining us on Wednesday for a special Indie Mayhem show about intergender wrestling. Um, oh, man, I want to be on that. Oh, man. We <laughs> just posting the event got some people heated. And oh, it's I'm been sure. a really interesting week, Mike. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah. We will see. We'll see Hashtag how that goes. So um, if you're either side of that, I think it's at 7 p.m. Eastern time on our Facebook Live. And uh, we will see you then until next time. Um, just, you know, he- healthy brain uh, out there. Don't watch wrestling that, that makes you um, as mad Don't as Don't watch Mike. wrestling that does not spark joy. Touch all the wrestling <laughs> and say, does this bring me joy? And then just throw out the ones that you don't want and just just have the good ones and declutter your wrestling life until next time
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron 